Okay, streaming now. Uh, let's get things set up. Uh, let's see. Let's go to my live. Uh, stream chat. Yeah, let's see. Can we, we can pop this out, right? There's definitely a way to pop this out. So, uh, followers only chat. Don't care. Uh, yeah, let's just go to the episode in which Anthony futzes around with the chat. No, I've done this. Is it, is it this button? No. Is it this button? There we go. Whoop. Don't care about that. Um. Oh, there it is. Pop out. Perfect. Okay. Uh, not, <laughs> not floating. And pin. Okay. Perfect. And then I think we can see, yeah, no one is watching. Okay, let's go ahead and tweet. So if you're watching this on YouTube later, just skip. Um, no, I don't, don't care about that right now. Um, let's make that a little tinier. And... Let's do, yeah, let's tweet it out. Two minutes in. Man, I should uh, get on this thing, um, get on this thing earlier, right? Let's copy. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, All right, there we are. Um, so Nathan uh, asked us to get a live punning stream going. We'll see if that happens. Um, I think I would need uh, need some topic suggestions maybe, but sort of what I wanted to do, let us not look at my email. We can look at my Octobox though, um, which is better than email. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I think the thing that we need to, I, I was going to do is work on, um, a little, uh, so basically one of the things that we want to, my partner Jana and I want to think about is a refinance. Um, and so I was going to make a little Jupyter notebook or Jupyter interface <clears throat> for helping determine whether you know, sort of cutoff points. Now, maybe serve that with voila from last episode um, uh, up, up in a bit. So let's just get a Jupyter notebook, a Jupyter lab notebook up and running. Uh, Jupyter, I think I installed Jupyter lab on this machine. Uh, hopefully it doesn't try to open. Oh, it does. Okay. Uh, okay. Jupyter lab build is suggested. Okay. Build, I guess. I suppose, right? <laughs> um, so let's get some widgets and stuff going. Um, do I have... I must have matplotlib installed. Just matplotlib. Um, anyone in the chat? Nope. No one's, no one's in the chat yet. Lonely. Yeah, I've got matplotlib. I don't know what it's complaining about. Also, let's go ahead and um, we, we got to get dark mode going. This is ridiculous. This is just insane. Okay. Editor theme. 
Uh, well, let's first go dark mode. Yeah. Why is the default light? No one, no one likes that. Um, this is probably because, like, well, I don't know. I'm not gonna. Stu Zenburn. Sure. Reload the page. See if I care, Jupiter Lab. Interrupt what I was doing. Um, solarized Zenburn. Well, A B C D E F. That like is a real. Real, uh, <laughs> all right, let's just, let's just stop fussing around. Do I have iPie widgets installed? Let's see. Uh, okay. let's see. I do have iPie widgets. That's exciting. Okay. So let's rename this. Can we rename this notebook? Uh, let's call it refinance. Um, so let's get rid of this stupid sidebar. Um, okay, so then uh, some of the things we're going to need. We're going to need NumPy. Import NumPy as in P. Import um, matplotlib, probably. Uh, oh, dot pi plot as plot, like always. I think that's all we need. Um, and so, yeah, let's, I'm a little rusty on the widgets. Oops, and I sh probably shouldn't be checking my Gitter. As you can see, I'm at sort of a lower resolution right now. Um, there we are, it me, it me, um, <laughs> for the stream here. Do you have two mics act active? Oh, weird, okay, oh, I know what I do, okay. Thanks. Um, I think I do. Let me. Oh no, no, don't do that. Hopefully, is that better? Is that better? Hopefully, that's better. Um, or it will be better in thirty seconds with whatever uh, whatever delay there is. Um, uh, so why don't you show up in the filter? list. Weird. Um, I don't know. Okay. Oh. Not at all. Wait, Wait that's, that's not better. Um, huh. Talking through a fan. Huh. Let's see. Input? Um, okay. Oh, I think I do have two mics active. That one, and hopefully this one. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Maybe I don't want to. I don't want it to seem like I'm talking through a fan. That would. That would be bad. Okay. Okay. Well, hopefully that works. Um, that one's still muted. Okay. Ah, uh, great. So yeah, let's get back to it. So I think the first thing we want to do is um, is look up how to do like a little code. Well, so the first thing we want to do is, is figure out like um, what the actual mortgage rate is, right? So like, say you have a given percentage. Um, so let's say like interest, let's say interest rate equals 0, .0 Let's just say three for now, and then let's say the um, the principal, um, or let's say the cost. Yeah, let's say the principal uh, or initial principal all is equal to. Uh, does it still sound like I'm talking through a fan? Hopefully, it doesn't. Um, hopefully, we can also figure out who is watching. I don't know why it doesn't tell me. It's pretty annoying. Ah, uh, stream chat. Okay. Uh, let's go back here. No. Oh, there's three people watching. Who are you people? <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so initial principle. Uh, let's just let's just choose a random value like a hundred thousand dollars for the moment, um, and then. Uh, let's say 
refinance costs. Re right, this is, I don't know, some nominal amount. Let's call it like $4,000 into the principal is equal to the initial principal plus the refinance cost. Okay. So those are some initial values that we'll just set up. Um, and then let us go look up like mortgage uh, rate interest uh, interest payments first principal payments. I always forget these equations. Um, so let's just look them up. If someone in the stream has like a nice link for the right, I know the total amount. Uh, I want the equation, not the uh, not the tabulated version, because we want to build like a little widget thing. Um, stupid. Understanding. Uh, I don't want the calculator. Maybe we should equation. That's let's make this a little smaller so we can read it. Uh, mortgage formulas. There we go. Um, okay. Ah, here we are. Okay. Oh, so ah L. So the actual loan amount. So that's what we want. We want the the loan amount. So basically, uh, so this should be this should just be called principal and finance cost, and then loan amount. Right, so the, the refinance cost tends to get bundled into the um, uh, into the amount. Does this work yet? No. Why doesn't this work yet? Um, what is going on? Are there more people? There's five people. Who's watching? Jump on, jump on and say hello. Jump on the chat. Um, or if there are problems with the chat, tweet at me. Um, and maybe I should also watch the Twitter occasionally. Oops. No, nope, I'll just go back to putting the Twitter here. Um, okay, so um, yeah, okay. So here's the equation. So the following formula is used to calculate fixed monthly payment required to fully amortize a loan. Um, okay, so that the loan balance after payment annual percentage rate. Okay, so. Um, so let's take a look at this. So the fixed monthly payment required to amortize a loan of L dollars over a term of N months. Oh yeah, so that's the, that's the loan term. Okay, so uh, let's copy this over and then convert it to Python. Uh, <laughs> uh, so let's say a uh, loan term. So this will be in years. So let's say it's 30. We'll put years here. And then um, uh, what we want is in months. So we'll say months equals uh, np dot a range. Um, and then this will go from zero to loan term. Well, I actually should probably go from one loan term plus one. Oh, no, no. Loan term times 12 plus one. Uh, yeah, I think that's right. So. And then, so that's our y-axis, and then the payment is equal to uh, L is the loan amount, I think. Some reverberation here, too. Interesting. Um, loan amount. Okay, weird. Should I try switching to the other mic? Maybe I should just get a nicer mic. Or maybe... Okay. I'm going to mute my headset. 
unmute this mic. This is my webcam mic. Does this work better for you? I'll have to play around with this. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, <laughs> live, live coding is, uh, you know, I want to make this an enjoyable experience for you, but uh, clearly I have more work to do. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, C is equal to um, if the quoted rate, okay, so the quoted monthly rate, okay, so if we have an annual rate, it's just that. So that's the annual rate, and then C is the monthly rate. So, um, okay, so let's go back here. So interest rate, and this is, we'll call this yearly interest rate, and then uh, so we'll have all of our independent things up here, and then down here we'll have the monthly. Let me know if that fixed the uh, the issue there. So monthly. Maybe I just need a new headset. Equals the yearly interest rate divided by. 12 and okay so then this is the loan amount times uh, let's put yeah let's put parentheses around these things so this will be the monthly interest rate times 1 plus the monthly interest rate uh, wait, times, uh, what was it, times n, which is the months, I think, let's see, is that what it was, oh no, it's to the nth power, sorry, of course, of course, and then it's that minus one, okay. We have to have, so to the nth power um, divided by uh, this something. I hate how Jupiter does that. That really like bothers me. Um, that really bothers me that uh, month. Uh, monthly interest rate. Okay, so let's just plot this and see what we get uh, just to start. Oop. I probably need um, uh, matplotlib uh, yeah lib inline just to get started and then plot dot, oop, plot dot plot of um, months versus payment. So that's the principal, I think. And then let's just say plot. Let's put some labels on this, right? We're, we're scientists. Uh, so an X label, um, T months. And then a Y label is um, uh, payment in uh, dollars, let's just say. Okay. Oops, oh, that's the X label. That doesn't look right. Okay, so, or what it, which, which is this? This is the, which equation is this? So this is, um, fix, is used to calculate the fixed monthly payment Oh, I see. That's just a fixed monthly payment. So, oh, 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 okay. So, like, it goes down if you have more months. Right, right. Um, so this isn't what we want to look for. So, yeah, basically, if, you, if you're trying to pay off the whole loan immediately, it's, like, the full price of the thing, and then it goes down, um, which is kind of cool. Um, kind of a mortgage calculator. But what we want is... Uh, 
we want to know the remaining loan balance. Right. So, um, internal rate of return. Yeah, we don't care about that future values. We kind of want to know like both how much money is going to interest and how much money is going to the uh, to the. Um, well, let's let's see. Let's do the balance. So the balance calculation is basically the same denominator and then the numerator minus the number of months that it's okay. Yeah, that's easy. Okay, uh, right. So. Um, yeah, so let's do, okay, so like that's the payment, we actually don't care about this. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, we, we kind of care, but not, not exactly because we're, we're doing a fixed thing. So let's say, um, let's call this balance, um, and then, God, this is a big mess of an expression. So let's break the denominator onto the next line, maybe, just for sanity. Um, and then here, this will be minus, oh, actually, this is um, the loan, let's call this like loan months, I guess. Um, oop, no. <laughs> oh, it doesn't like me breaking, oh, no, it doesn't like that. loan months equals uh, loan term uh, times 12, okay. Loan months, and then here, this is minus. Is the, is the reverb issue fixed? Inquiring minds want to know. And hopefully. See here. Okay. One plus yeah, it's the same thing minus how much you've actually paid off. Okay. Um, cool. So it's this. Um, we can actually oh, break this onto the next line because we have a uh, parentheses. So minus just months, not loan months, to the, okay. So hopefully, and then this should be balance. And that is negative for some reason. <laughs> oh, what am I doing wrong? Um, minus one uh, plus C, is this, is this backwards for some reason? Uh, let's see. Um, the balance should go to zero, right? Um, so what am I doing wrong? Monthly interest rate times, oops, I keep going to that other site, L, this should be the right, th that's that, that's that, um, am I not multiplying it by the total loan amount here? Monthly interest rate. Oh, I am multiplying it by the loan amount. Okay. This seems weird, doesn't it? What am I doing wrong? Um, is it times the mult? Maybe that's what I'm. Oh yeah, this has the C out in front, and we don't have that. Okay, that's what's going on. Ha ha ha. So we don't need that. There we go. There's a balance. 
Okay, oops. Let's align this, maybe, just to be nice. Okay. Come on. There we go. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's, that's that. Okay, so now what we want to do, just for some fun, is to add sort of sliders here just to see, um, uh, you know, like, basically, on, and who wants this to be in months? Let's have this be in years. So let's do, let's divide it by 12, uh, and then we'll do T in years, because that's what we care about. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's exactly what we want here. And, oh, yeah, wow, seven people. Hey, everybody. Uh, so we're just trying to build like a little simple voila, Jupyter iPi widgets based like mortgage calculator. Um, so we've got this little matplotlib thing here. Now I haven't done iPi widgets in like in freaking forever. So um, iPi widgets. Um, let's see Jupyter Lab. Hopefully this works. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, we don't, I don't care about installation. I've already got it installed via Conda Forge. Woohoo! Um, uh, but how do we actually use them, right? So using interact, would interact, I don't want to use interact um, uh, right now. I want a simple, int okay, so we import widgets. That seems, import IPy widgets as widgets doesn't seem like a significant shortening. I'm just gonna, just gonna throw that out there, docs. Uh, <laughs> So let's call this uh, just W, because we're, um, let's call it WG, why not, right? WG, um, the, uh, and then we can create a little int slider, okay? Um, sure, let, let's do that. Um, oh, and then we want to display it. Okay, that also seems reasonable. So let's say, uh, Let's say we want our loan term to be an int slider. Um, so from ipy, ipython, import display, and then um, let's say loan term is an int slider, wg.int slider. That's kind of cool. And I get, I'm guessing we can initialize this to 30, um, but then who knows really. So let's, let's try that, um, let's try this, and then insert a cell above, and let's render all the cells, or all the widgets in this next cell. So load, oh, not loan, load, loan term. Um, okay, now will that all get passed down? No, it does not. Um, so I'm guessing loan term is this thing dot value. Is that right? That seems to be right. Oh, but why didn't this display interactively? What is going on there? Um, who does the displaying? Yeah, why didn't this work? Do IPy widgets not work in JupyterLab? Do IPy widgets work in uh, Oh, here's a stack overflow. Um, I guess they don't work, if this is a question. Um, <laughs> basic widgets do not work. Oh, you have to work, you have to use this interact, uh, or no, uh, for some model, I'm gonna, okay. Jupyter uh, has an extension This come on your command line, which as soon as you have no JS. Oh man, what a pain. Um, Jupyter Lab extension. 
What a pain. Really? Okay. Let's try. Maybe this is old. Maybe if I just do interact. Um, um, so, let's say from IPy widgets. Interact, and then maybe, <laughs> what a pain, yeah, the, <laughs> I like that uh, the heckling has, uh, has begun, keep it up, uh, <laughs> you are cool medical physics, um, uh, okay, wow, that also fails, I'm definitely not going to futz with this anymore, in terms of Jupiter Lab, that is not what this stream is about. Um, we're just gonna close this and uh, reopen regular old Jupiter. Uh, so, uh, quit. This is, okay, yes, quit, please. All right, goodbye. Uh, Jupiter, nope, fuck. Ugh. That is, that makes me sad. Uh, <laughs> that makes me sad, okay. Oops, now you get to see my ridiculous home directory. Um, I am not apologizing at all, so. Oops, yep, okay. So, all right, we're back in the game here. Um, uh, let's go back to, you all probably knew that this wouldn't work, but, um, I'm glad that you watched me suffer for like five minutes. Um, I thought this was gonna be so cool, so fun, get dark mode, which is really the reason why I'm using Jupiter Lab at all these days. But, okay, there we go, finally, okay. Freaking A. Um, <laughs> so I can change this, and then this value changes, and yeah, that, that Increases. Perfect. Okay. Um, all right. So what do we... I guess we want to add widgets for all these other things. Well, we want the graph to update, too. So like that's the next real thing. So let's, let's wire up one of these um, first. Let's get the graph to update. Um, widget properties. Okay, so how do we get it so that when... Um, when it when any of these things move, uh, the graph updates. Uh, linking two similar widgets. We don't want to link them. Uh, widget events. Uh, is that what we want? Uh, I feel like. I feel like this shouldn't be as confusing, um, but special events, like simple widget introduction, um, let's just Google it, IPy. Plot. Come on. There we go. Uh, how to update a plot on button. Or maybe it's interact. Maybe it was that thing I was avoiding the whole time. Seems likely. Uh, using widgets. No. Uh, using interact. Is there a plot example? Um, this seems like it, it, it seems, ah, here we are. Here is the plot example that I wanted. Okay, so you create a function um, with the parameters you want. Um, so let's do that. Oh yeah, you probably should create a figure. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's do this. 
interactive. So we also need to import interactive. So let's from ipy widgets import interactive. I don't know, you, you guys probably all do this all the time, and I'm just like slow. Um, not cool and dynamic or anything. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, we don't need M and B as arguments. We need like, let's say, loan term, I guess. Um, and then let's, whoop. and then Yeah, okay, so this will probably not be what we want. Interactive plot, interactive uh, function. Oh, I see, I see. So it just passes in these values and then it creates all this stuff. It like. Does it create all the widget stuff for you, I guess? Um, I guess B is like the center point, or is this a slice? Let's see. Um, I am, so we should separate the model from the view a bit. So, not gonna lie, I, I I really, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, me too, right? Like, I just, like, I guess I don't do that much analysis work, but I, I'm happy that all these tools exist, and so it's a little funny sometimes, right? Um, okay, so let's, let's create a function that's like, uh, yeah, so let's call it like, compute balance or something. Um, and we'll have it take a, yeah, we'll have it take a loan term to start with. And that'll default to 30 years. Um, yeah, I did, I did, yeah, I did. I. Uh, yeah, well, it wasn't voila, voila I got working immediately, but it was the voila grid stack package. I got that to uh, to be uh, developed, which is kind of, or I got that on ConduForge, which is nice. Um, so, yeah, that's cool. Okay, this function should return, what is it, months, because we need to know the months, our t-axis, and we need the balance, um, and then, this is just going to compute, um, so this will return months balance, and it's going to call compute, come on, oh, I probably need to like import all this stuff, uh, compute balance on loan term equals loan. Okay, and then, whoops, what is this? Could not, oh, right, okay. <laughs> loan, let's say our loan term goes from, uh, 10 years is about the lowest that you could possibly go, and 50 is about the highest in sort of modern, uh, modern sales. Whoops, okay, and then, Figure size, what? What? Three hundred. Oh. Uh. Okay. What is it complaining at? Loan. Int object has no object value. That's true. That is very true. Aha! Great. Okay. So does this work? Bam! Woohoo! Look, we're uh. 
we're moving now. That's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's let's do the next step. Oop, cancel. Uh, we don't need to display uh, loan term. Um, right. So like that's that's not helpful. Um, and then let's try this out with Vola. So let's um, let's save. Um, okay, so we're gonna we're done here, and I think uh, okay. So we've logged out. Um, let's log out of the server here, and I think if we do voila, I think all it is right is voila, and then the refinance I pi and b. Yes, maybe. Okay, and uh, let's copy the link here. Oh, it's opened already. Ha <laughs> ha! That is pretty sweet. Look at that. This is pretty nice, actually. Um, okay, so this is just the principle, though. That this is the balance on the principle that's remaining. Um, what we're kind of interested in is like how much of the how much of interest we're also going to be paying, right? So, um, and. Oh, still got the same seven, presumably. Does this, can we actually see? Okay, there we are. Uh, cool, I don't recognize some of you folks. Some I do. Slow cool, that's kinda cool. That's a fun name. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty This is pretty neat. Um, thank you, Sylvan, and the rest of the Quantstack team. This is pretty, pretty slick. Um, okay, so let's, what we're really interested in is like, um, uh, is the is this other? Let's go back here, and we can add some more knobs and things, which maybe I'll do. Um, in a oh, hey, hey, you're saying nice, yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining the stream. Um, yeah, it's awesome to awesome to see. Oops, uh, Jupiter widget could not be displayed. Okay, whatever. Um, let's just do run. All below. Okay. Um, yeah, I think actually, so just a, as a point of business here, uh, I think, so we do the uh, open source directions every, basically every other Friday uh, over on Livestorm as part of our Quonsite thing. Um, next time is, uh, is uh, Condaford, which should be fun. But I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll stream at least kind of like every off week of that. I think it would be kind of fun to just fill the, the Friday noon hour with, but if folks want to watch me stream or have specific like uh, requests other times, I'm, I'm welcome to that. But uh, I think doing something every Friday is kind of fun. So um, yeah, so just, you know, at least every, we, we had a cancellation last time, last week, which is why I did this in the first place, but I think I really enjoyed it and so, um, I'm happy to keep doing it and happy to, happy to do it more regularly too if, if folks, if that's what folks want. So just let me know either here or on Twitter. Um, wow, this, it's already 45 minutes in. That was like too much fun. Um, okay. But now we need to know how much interest you actually pay on a loan. Um, uh, which I totally don't remember the, um, that equation. Is it? Future value is a value of a single sum after n periods. Um, uh, if anyone has a link to this real quick, because I don't want to figure it out on stream, that would be awesome. But uh, if you don't have a link, that's also uh, uh, that's also okay too. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. No, I don't care about this. Interest paid on loan uh, equation. Uh, is this the, how to calculate interest on a loan? There we go. Just give me the equation. Interest rate divided by the number of payments times the loan principal. Okay. 
Um, okay, well, let's try to... How OGs work. Plus or time. Uh, oh, NumPy. Um, an NPV function. Let's look up that. NumPy NPV. Wow. I feel like I learned during these during these uh these things too, which was part of the part of the fun. Net present value, there we go. Um okay, so it's the rate um times the value. So I'm assuming the values is the times yes. Okay. Oh, but it gives you just a single float. It doesn't give you it gives you the sum, but I want the array. Like I want this. Uh, um, I want this like summed over everything. So, uh, or like I want this at every time at every time step. So, um, yeah. Let's also do. Let's let's do another function that's like def compute. Interest um, and yeah, loan. Yeah, I'm looking for the payment schedule basically. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, so if you have like a simple function for that, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, I guess I could just do a map over NPV. Is that right? Um, Uh, well, let's try it, I guess. Let's just see. So, like, uh, oh, well, so months is actually, um, so let's say, like, uh, np, p dot, or let's say, uh, pmt, oh, man. You got this. Oh, it's even in the next topic. Wow, uh, that's awesome. Compute the. Oh, that's that's amazing. Okay, so and hopefully this takes an array. So present value. Oh man, wow, Hussein, you're like, you're like that's amazing. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's um, an interest rate compounded per once per period, in which there are and per. Um, okay, so this should just be, uh, an awesome begin, and then FV, what is FV? Future value, okay. Got about 12 minutes here, so like, let's say MP dot, uh, PMT, uh, or we'll say present value. Um, I knew when it's so Excel. Yeah. Uh, didn't we all? Okay. Rate of interest per period. Okay, but the rate of interest actually stays the same for us. So that's okay. So we'll, we have our uh, yearly interest rate. Oh, no, no. We want to compute our monthly interest rate, which is this. So this won't be the most efficient, but whatever. Um, so it's the monthly interest rate, and then uh, the, well, let's split the screen here. Oh, well, I can't actually see that anymore, so let's, uh, let's rearrange the window a bit. Monthly interest rate, uh, and per um, number of compounding periods, so that's the number of months, so that's months uh, negative one, and then um, PV is the present value, which I think is the initial balance, so, or the initial amount, so that's the loan amount, and then the future value, is that the, oh, that's the months, right? So, um, I 
a future value, zero. Um, yeah, that's got to be the months, I think. I don't know. Uh, and then let's return present value. OK, so this is probably wrong. Um, PV equals compute interest time, which is this bit. Um, and then we want to plot PV. We'll call this label equals. Uh, and we'll call this uh, uh, balance, I guess. Okay. And that did not work. Loan months is not defined. Uh, where? Oh, yeah, loan months is right there. Okay, fine. You're right, I didn't define it. Hmm. Oh no, so that's not exactly what I wanted. Um, that's not exactly what I wanted. Um, like I want that. I'm doing something wrong here. <laughs> right? So like the amount of, like what if I set this to zero? No, then it's the wrong format. So, like, what I want is the amount of interest that you have paid to date. Um, and that's like, like a cumulative amount of interest, just in the same way that I want, like, the cumulative amount of balance that you've, that you've set, that you've paid off. So maybe that actually, this should be, that's not really even what I want. Like, this is what, I want this to be like, um, I want this to be like balance equals loan amount minus balance, and then balance equals numpy dot cumulative sum of balance. Okay, yeah, that looks better. Um, right, so like you've paid off that much balance, and then how much interest have you paid? That's the next question. Um, principal minus repayment, rep minus, because you've now begun to pay on All right, I don't know that I'm gonna get this in the next seven minutes, but, um, yeah, just because, like, I'm deep in other places. Uh, I should have done more homework for the stream. I apologize. Um, OK. Oh, here, starting balance. Here's a principal paid, interest paid, new balance. Uh, yeah, this is like the table that I want. These are the tables. So, okay. NumPy IPMT, okay. Wow, um, awesome. Let's check out that function then. Um, oop, no, that's interact. We're done with you. Uh, <laughs> uh, NumPy, let's make this bigger. PPMT, I bet IPMT is next. Like, compute the payment against the loan principal. Okay, compute the interest por portion of a payment. Oh, okay. Wow. This seems, oh, well, man, read the docs. Oh, scope hats, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> uh, this is exactly what I wanted. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see if I can, uh, oops. Uh, let's see if I can cobble together this in like two seconds from the docs. So if we have principal, 
and then and then the per per is what is the interest rate interest against the loan per is the payment period to calculate the loan amount okay why why is it 1 plus 12 that's this should be like 1 comma 12 or something right like 1 times 12 is meaningless um, okay I gave the yeah no problem no problem it's uh, it's an exploration like uh, thanks for thanks for saving me right here at the last second I feel like this happened last episode too where there's like some exciting conclusion uh, right towards the end um, so okay so let's say format PPT okay well let's um let's try to let's try to fix this real quick okay um, monthly interest rates so let's get rid of all this and <laughs> um, so we have our principal we have our per our per is the months I think there's a collection of amateurization model yeah okay all right well we'll check that out maybe I'll put that in the show notes um, copy uh, yeah that would have been the right thing to do is like actually go and, and look this up yeah payoff times etc oh look at that Excel ah but we've got we actually have some real code to uh, oh man but they're not using pep8 I don't know if I can look at this anymore I'm sorry um, gotta go back to the docs uh, <laughs> just kidding of course uh, Okay, so IPVT is bam. So, uh, so this is the interest payment, which is the interest rate of the monthly interest rate. So luckily we have that. So this is the monthly interest rate, and the per is the um, that's the months. That's what we're calling months here. And then uh, this is the total number of months, uh, which is months negative one. And then the principal is just the, uh, let's just call this the loan amount. And then the PPT is basically that, but with PPT, man, two minutes. Can I do it? Time to time to type fast, which is not easy. <laughs> um, and then the oh, but we don't care. I guess we don't care about the payment. Um, well, we could care about the payment. Um, so let's. That's just bam payment um, and okay yeah all right so that's perfect and then we'll return IP MT PP MT and PMT and then we'll compute that and then um, this is going to be oh and we have to return months so that we know what we're over um, and so months is going to be, uh, so this will be, let's just copy this and be done. And just a couple more minutes. And then what we'll do is we'll plot months versus uh, IP, oh no, no, we'll do PPMT, IPM, IPMT, um, and then we'll have one for the total, right? And it doesn't matter if we don't have a legend, so plot dot legend loke equals zero because I'm old and can't remember what the other one is. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, what is going on? Uh, why does it not want to? Not enough values to unpack. Uh, okay. 
Oh, okay, perfect, perfect. Um, well, this is uh, definitely moving. Well, that total number is messing us up, so let's let's kill that. Um, yeah, oh, so look at that. So the balance versus the interest. Now, why is it all negative? <laughs> um, why? That's disconcerting. But uh, basically the right idea. I think, um, I think we can call it a day there. Well, actually, let's save this notebook. Um, uh, and then we'll kill Jupiter. And just as a last parting gift, we'll voila this and show, hopefully, um, that, yeah, bam, here it is. So there's still a little cleanup work to do, but I think it's, it's pretty much there. All right, thanks everybody for joining. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, again, uh, join us on Open Source Directions next week, right, and we'll do the stream again the week after, if not before. And I'm happy to take, uh, take requests. So uh, no, reason to, no reason to limit it to whatever is in my mind. All right, thanks everybody. Bye-bye. Let me see if I can disconnect.